Hello everyone, welcome to another video where I summarise the methods and findings of a psychology study from component 2 of the OCR A-Level Psychology Syllabus. This video is Baron Cohen et al's 1997 study looking into theory of mind and how we can reliably measure it using um, quantifiable objective methods. So let's dive into the study and we'll see if we can summarise it in about 60 seconds. This experiment was a quasi-experiment that used a matched pairs design matching on age and IQ. There were 76 participants in total, 15 neurotypical adults, 16 people with autism or Asperger syndrome, and 10 people with Tourette's syndrome to act as a control group. The IV, therefore, was the type of participant, and the DV was the score of out of 25 on the eyes task. Use one example on the last slide. Black and white pictures with multiple choices about the emotions displayed in pairs of different eyes. Participants were shown photos of those eyes for three seconds each and then had to choose between two opposing emotions. Uh, they also took a strange story test which measured like sarcasm and irony and two other control tests as well. Uh, the results were that autistic participants scored 65.2% on average, neurotypical participants 81.2% on average and Tourette's people 81.6% uh, on average, both control groups being quite similar is an important result for the study. So we can conclude that only people with autism have impaired theory of mind, it's separate from intelligence and that modern tests of theory of mind such as the eyes test are concurrently valid with existing tests such as the strange stories test. Uh, in evaluation, we can say that there's high validity because of the quantifiable data, especially when compared to Freud. Uh, matched pairs design uh, means we also control for participant variables like age and IQ, but there are some problems with ecological validity, gender bias uh, because the uh, groups weren't evenly split in terms of gender, and ethnocentrism. That's 1 minute 18 seconds. It's not too bad a summary, I don't think. Um, do you think this is a good study or do you disagree personally? The eyes have it, but get involved in the comments if you have any other questions or comments on this piece of research. Thanks very much for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And also let me know in the comments if you'd like me to offer any other resources on this channel other than just summaries of uh, studies from component two. Thanks very much for watching. See you again. Cheers.